We got these beautiful red snappers right here. Y'all come on, join along with me. We're gonna make some red snapper bites. Let's go. All right, so here we go. They vacuum sealed. Let's get them out of this real quick. Give them a quick little rinse. Oh, remember what I told y'all about the cutting boards? Today, we're gonna show you how to do it with the pot handle. So this side is like cloth, right? And this side is like uh, a, a sticky material, like a grip material. I'm gonna throw this one down there. And bam, there you go, more grip. You safe in the kitchen. Give these a quick wrench. Make sure ain't no scales on them. No leftover scales. Got one piece right there. One hole for lay. Alright. We got the other piece right there. We ain't doing nothing uh special, but just a quality control check. Turn it over. Rub through. Make sure they got all those bones out of there. All the pin bones. Make sure. Go through that middle part, make sure it's all, all the bones out. Yep. Steve Bone did a scale really good. These bad boys look really good. Now, let's go ahead and turn them into some nice chunks. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to take the skin off. We're going to get us a nice little piece of skin right there. Oh, see? Broke apart. Oh, what? Let's just see if we can just go with the peel. Bam! Came off one whole piece. Cause the snapper, it's like a, it's a nice and hearty fish, so it's not going, it's not all delicate. It's not going to break apart all on you so that you start roughing it up. So, it'll be okay. But you got to do it with some type of care. You can't just go ripping it. Because you will rip that uh, meat. That delicate flesh. But bam, there you go. Only we got two skinless pieces. Let's go without chunking. Bam. Yeah. Gonna do nothing special they're just gonna be chunked in like this and we're gonna go ahead and throw some salt and pepper probably some garlic and some smoked paprika and we're gonna uh dust them with a little bit of cornstarch and we're gonna go ahead and fry these bad boys up i'll check back with you in two seconds Right, now that we've got our pieces all chunked up and nice, our bite-sized little pieces, as you can see, no more bigger than that. Now we're going to go with our seasoning. We're going to salt them. We're going to hit them with a little bit of black pepper. We're going to go in with a little bit of onion. Little bit of garlic. And just a little bit of Cajun to kick it up a notch. 
the little Cajun because this Cajun can overpower. Let's give it a little smokiness. Let me get my cornstarch. Give it just a light dusting. Dusting. Preheat that oven. I mean, preheat the grease. I don't know why I'd be preheating the oven. <laughs> I'm gonna preheat this grease though. I'm gonna get this a good mix. Couple good twirls. Don't be afraid to get up in there with your hands. Get up in there. Damn. There you go. Let me go ahead and prep off camera though the other part of our red snapper bite dish. I'm going to cut up some potatoes. And we're going to do some fish and chips. Let me prep that real quick. I'll be right back. We're gonna go from this to this. Now, I'm gonna fry these up real quick off camera, get them ready, and then we're gonna come back to the main event, which is these. Ooh, y'all see that? Them things are almost done. They floating. They have been there for roughly 10 minutes. Once they done. I'm just going to sprinkle some salt and pepper on them. Nothing fancy. Just some salt and pepper. These those Yukon goes. We're going to let them shine. Mmm. Nice and good. Now we got these out of the way. I'm going to put them to the side. We're going to get at these. Now the grease is already pre-hot. All I got to do is drop these bad boys in. Let's get it. Now, we're not going to let this fish go that long. A couple minutes at best. It's not going to take them that long. They're nice little small little chunks, right? Also, don't want to overcrowd the pan, so that's good for the first wave. I'm gonna go ahead and finish these up. And when I come back, we're gonna plate them up. It's gonna look so good, y'all. Yeah, yeah. And voila, there you go, Cajun fish and chips. I finished it with a balsamic uh, glaze. See us on the next one. Oh, it's so delicious, y'all.